Hello, ladies. Bobby Orr here. And I'm going to unbox my first um, Hermescence bottle from the House of Hermes. Here's my uh, poultry. I'm showing you my poultry Hermes selection. Uh, collection, I'm sorry. I've got two perfumes. And if you don't know how much... I love that. Uh, please, uh, if you're interested, go check out my past videos on perfume. I just love it. And uh, I have seven all together. Oh, I got one I got here. This is cute. Cute. This is the EDT, not the EDP. I sniffed the EDP in Bloomingdale's. A friend of mine uh, left this with me and she hasn't picked it up. So I guess she's giving it to me. I'm waiting to hear from her. Um, my favorite from uh, the Chardin series, the garden, is, uh, I did not wear this much, is uh, Monsieur Lee. I did not wear this much. Evidently, uh, my mother, she's 85 now, going to be, going to be 85 in a couple of months. I guess this is her favorite because she keeps spraying this to go to the market and she doesn't spray Shalimar and uh, the Chanel's that I uh, I give her. But I do love this. And boy, I think you only need about one and a half or one spray of this in uh, maybe a cloud, right? Not, not in one area because I, I can sniff it the second she sprays it. And she's in the other room, you know. I'm totally in another room and I can smell it. So it's good to smell it on someone. But I have started, I have worn that less these days hey, since my, uh, my mother has liked that. There's a leather floral. Like it. I like it. A uh, guy can wear this, yep, yeah, especially in the dry down. And uh, these two. All right, our foam's up here. Here are the boxes. Now, if you are into these collector items, and they come out with one every year, sometimes they have a note. Say like in the 2019 collector's item of this, there was a note in there uh, that's not in the usual of that. These, they're identical, and they have the flint in it. And what a minute. Is there rhubarb in here too? Or this one note that's kind of weird and you didn't figure. I should have looked that up before I did this. Video. But there, there are the two boxes, and I love them. So I got me a pack up of that, even though I don't need it. Um, and of course, I got to uh, love this. I love the souriness of it. And I love the grapefruit. I like this, even though I'm a cardamom lover, but I don't love it. I don't love it. Sprayed the EDT on the last time I was on uh, Bloomingdale's. Probably good with the EDT in this hot weather, but uh, maybe I'll grow into it more. But it's it's a like at best. Yeah, maybe it's, I think it's too sharp or perfumey for me. You know what I mean? This cannon. This cannon. Anywho, here's my first Hermes, Hermes Sense. This is my ginger ale there. I'm going to do an unboxing. I love uh, Hermes boxes. I love the color and I love the the cardboard pseudo leather texture. I keep on focusing. Comes in like this. Collect 
collection, Hermesis. A little brown there. Don't know exactly what it is, eh? I smell, I smell fizzy lifting drink. Actually, I can do a, a pseudo uh, review on this bottle because I've been wearing it so much because I had to wait to get this bottle 15% off Bloomingdale's at a future event. But in the meantime, she gave me six, there's one missing. I've already went through two and a third of these um, samples of this. I saw I one at plenty. And which one did I get? Slamo. It's called Bonda Reglise, or just for our sake, we'll call it uh, Brenda Reglise. Purple cap. I love, love the quality. Love the feel and look of the bottle. I love the slight purpleness. I don't know if I'll keep this with my Hermes or my other purple uh, perfumes. But there it is. Better look at it. With the knife. Licorice. Hay and lavender. <laughs> That's all it's listed. I'm not a licorice lover, but I like this one. Um, it's a very realistic black licorice, and I like it. I, I, I wouldn't even call it anise, but it's probably anise. Um, it really smells like the black licorice, high quality. I don't know if they're either shoelaces or sticks of uh, quality licorice that you get in black, not red. Um, and I'm just trying to think of that designer house that I sold that does uh, licorice. And uh, I won't uh, think I'm looking at my uh, collection here, but uh, it's kind of a gothic uh, Halloween type uh, designer perfume. And they did uh, licorice a lot in that one line. Maybe I'll write it in the uh, in the tab down below. But I'm real happy I got this. I don't recommend uh, spending full price on this. Like some of my mates, I agree with them. I got 15% off. 280 was the price. 15% off for that, and then I had some credit card points from the department store to use up. And, uh, well, I'll go and say it. I used, I had 175 points, $175. So I ended up paying US dollars, 74 uh, US dollars out of pocket for my first Hermesance. Well, there you go. That looks pretty. Now, don't that pretty. So I'm gonna keep it with my Hermes. Now, a thing about this, Galen of Atherealist, Ather his channel, he's phenomenal. I'm sure you all know him. He's, he's top notch. He described us as Willy Wonka fizzy lifting drink in, on a stream. That's all that was needed to get my attention for to get my first Hermescence. <clears throat> I love Ombre Narguil. I would already have it if I lived back in New York or in Wyoming or Alaska when I lived before here. And, uh, you know, and then the, the cost is, uh, it weighs a lot, but I, if, if I would have three, I would have, after this one, I would get Rosie Cabana and Ombre Nargil and call it, a, you know, I do like Agra Bean. I like to have three of the bottles at least in a collection, like, like three full size, uh, big bottles of uh, less exclusives. Even though I'm a Chanel lover, I only have three of them. Um, so anything less than three looks a little lonesome. But you get heavy aromatic, kind of citrus, but very realistic, strong licorice up top. But if, if you hate that or you don't love it, 
it's not a reason not to uh, explore this perfume. Um, wait, it dies down, um, especially in the dry down. It becomes a skin scent. I'm convinced, it's not just because I live here in the hot weather all the time. That has something to do with it. It doesn't last here. I get uh, fellow mates such as Eugene, Galen, and I think Rich, they all said, uh, no, it lasts a whole day. Um, but something, you know, I know for a fact that Eugene's a very heavy sprayer. I'm a heavy sprayer, but it, it definitely is a skin scent. And I'm, I'm saying right now it doesn't um, last that long. I love the smell of it. I mean, five hours, maybe, maybe, in terms of uh, longevity and projection. And at five hours, there's no projection. Maybe some sillage if you're walking by, but it's definitely a skin scent. I'd love to smell this uh, on a lady who loves purple. Um, so it's a little fizzy, as uh, as the Gal uh, Galen's uh, Willy Wonka reference says. Uh, it pulled me in, because that's my favorite scene of, of the whole movie, when Charlie and Uncle Joe or Grandpa Joe go off on a little tangent and they steal. The, on the only thing bad that they did was steal a couple of sips of that fizzy lifting drink, and uh, they started floating in the air. It's my favorite scene. All the other brats even though I love them, they're bad kids, bad kids. Uh, they stole and they they stuck their head in the, oh, the river of chocolate like gluttons. But I love soda. It does give a grape soda-ish vibe. And uh, the licorice is great. It doesn't uh, overpower or it's not sickening. I do recommend uh, Hermes Lovers to definitely check this fragrance out. Uh, Brenda Reglis, or as the French pronounce it, Bon de Reglis. And um, it's not a buy, but definitely, if you're an Hermescence lover and you haven't gotten this one in your collection, definitely check it out. Because um, it might be on its way out, is my point. It might be on its way out. Get your nose on it and, you know, if you have uh, more money than Davy Crockett, pick it up. Because I think, I asked Galen, and you know, he's my friend online, never met him, but he did say, Bob, that's what my sources say. So I'll tell you that front line news. As of this date, he said that to me last week. Uh, it's on its way out. And then other people thought it too. Uh, along with Paprika, Paprika uh, Brazil and all that. For my store, in Bloomingdale store, they're, once they sell the last two of these, and I, I bought one, thought two seconds about buying two, but no. And then when I went back to pick this up, the other one was gone, so they don't have any more. You, they will not stock the Hermescence anymore. They'll just have, have them on order, so you can only uh, order them. So it is getting tighter, uh, is my point. Um, so and then you know when I heard it was on its way out my ears light up I, I have to admit like a kid when like a Dior and even I haven't smelled it yet or not too much uh, experience with it but I, I, I like it and I get it I'll get it even faster if I think it's going to be uh, discontinued you know, it's that little kid in you having a little treasure that uh, no longer is available. You know what I mean? So, that's my shtick on this uh, Hermesance. Don't love the house. I think they are through the roof in quality in terms of fragrance. But in terms of, do I want to smell like that? Like Quidage, it's such a beautiful put together fragrance. But do I want to smell like that? Do I want to smell like an Hermes bag um, when I go out? It's not bad, uh, you know. Then I start looking at, oh, do I want to smell like that or do I want to smell like this? Um, you know, that kind of thing. But I do want to smell like this. Uh, guys out there, and I'm talking to guys specifically now, if you like your mess, if you like fresh, dark, and you like Terra Hermes EDT or love it. And, uh, you know, no more of this, uh, you know, 
what do you call it, unisex or, uh, or both can wear it. If you're, if you're a guy, maybe a, you know, a handsome, uh, tough guy, not a tough guy, but get your nose on this and wear it. So, oh yeah. I, and above 40, 40 and above, you know, definitely get your nose on it and try it. Um, 35 and above, definitely think about uh, wearing a uh, parfum once or twice, and you'll not be uh, you'll not be disappointed. I think it's better than EET. I am crazy over it. So there's my shtick on Hermesans, and like I said, I, I wouldn't mind getting Rosie Cabana. Rosie Cabana lasts forever, forever, and it projects. It's not that it's not that transparent. It's light, but it's not light. It's a beast. This this is very intimate, very close to the skin. Look at that purple showing there, right there. I'm glad I have this light off to the side. So maybe it's like a purple, like my uh, Millie Lafore, uh, or um, Havas's purple. I like purple. I like purple perfumes. You know, and they they dress them up like how they might smell so obviously the glass is, is is purple and the leather here the juice is probably just clear but uh brenda reglis the francais thanks for joining me in this occasion of uh of happiness here with my first renaissance and i'll uh, check you later aloha and uh, bon voyage bye-bye